play in three acts. Starring an archivist <laughs> and death. <laughs> Is 
object for something that's right in front of her. The reason she even wants to preserve them is because she's aware of their transience. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> something, even archiving and preserving an object, doesn't necessarily preserve the actual thing. It preserves a fraction of it, maybe the thing itself, if you're lucky. But meanwhile, the thing being preserved is encased in glass, put on a shelf, separated from the realities of those intended to inform. I have an example. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> a tribe in Papua New Guinea wanted the anthropologist Edmund Snow Carpenter to film their sacred and very painful initiation rites for young men. And when it was done, they built a sacred enclosure for the screening of that film and gave up the initiation rite. Well, if it was that painful, yes, but it served a purpose in their culture, and the film won't produce the same effect. They didn't preserve the actual practice, and whether they should have isn't even the point. They just retained the image of it. But the boys that watch that film won't understand that image in the same way their fathers and grandfathers understand that image or that experience. Let them live and let them die. 